Let's bring in meteorologist Carrie Hall to explain really what happens. Solar eclipses happen when the sun, the moon and the earth align and the moon passes between the earth and the sun, temporarily blocking the sun's light, therefore casting the moon's shadow on earth. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon is fully obscuring the sun and the umbra is the inner cone shaped part of that shadow. It is also the part in which the light has been blocked and all of that light is blocked during the partial solar eclipse. It means that it it just blocks a portion of the sun's face with the moon appearing to take a bit out of the sun and the penumbra is the outer part of the moon's shadow in which only part of the sun is covered. The moon will block the sunlight for about two hours from start to finish. For the Bay Area, the most the moon will block the sun will be 35% starting at 1014, peaking at 1113 and ending at 1215. We will have a mostly clear sky, but others in the path of totality in the heartland are not so lucky. For more on that, I'll send it back to you, Laura Marcus. All right, thanks, Gary. Look, a lot of people talking about it want to know more. So joining us now is astronomer Jessica Agnos with San Francisco State University. Jessica, thank you so much for joining us. How cool is this? Uh, <laughs> look, can you break this down for us? Because some of us who aren't necessarily the science geeks, I don't want to call you a geek, but you know what I'm saying, no, I'm those who are really person. into science and know a lot about this. Can you kind of explain what's going on here? Well, it's, it's a really interesting phenomenon in that um, our sun, moon, and planet are all perfectly aligned at a particular location on Earth, and they are the ones that are seeing totality. Uh, it can only happen during the new moon phase. And so our moon, as it orbits us, it is not on a perfectly flat orbit around us. It's slightly tilted at five degrees. And so as it goes around, it doesn't always block the sun entirely during its new moon phase. So the new moon phase is where the sun is illuminating the earth. I mean, sorry, the sun is illuminating the part of the moon that we don't see that doesn't face us. And so during an eclipse, during a total eclipse, I should say, because there are different types of eclipses, during a total eclipse, the moon is passing directly in front of the Earth, and so its shadow is being cast on our planet. And we know so many people are gathering, especially along that strip of totality there. How long is it expected to last? And it depends on where you are, right? It depends completely on your location. Um, if you look at the, you know, the moon is a circle and its shadow is going to be a circle. So where you are on the path depends on where you are in that circle. So the more center you are along the path, the longer you're, you're going to get to see it. If you're more towards the edge of that circle, then you're not going to see it as long. So for instance, Austin, Texas is just on the edge. They're going to get, I think, a little less than two minutes of totality, whereas Llano, Texas, which is just 60 miles away, around 60 miles away, is going to get about four, uh, a little over four minutes of totality. Okay, we're looking right now. This is uh, the shot from Oakland, the Oakland Hills that we're seeing right now. So the thing about it is, it is such a phenomenon. People want to see it, want to be a part of it all. We know the next one won't happen for another 20 years, 2044. That's here in the U.S. where we're going to see totality in some parts of the country but this happens every year somewhere correct it does it happens it happens a lot more often than I guess we realize but the issue is being in the right place at the right time um, and so we are not going to get anything of this uh, nature where it spans this much of the U.S. Actually, until 2045, we're going to get up. Uh, I think Montana and North Dakota are going to get a small portion of the total eclipse in 2044. But actually, in 2045, uh, the Bay Area, or I should say Northern California, will be in the path of totality. And the Bay Area will get over 90% coverage at that. All right. So interesting to see, Jessica. Thanks so much. Thank you.